How's it going guys? Late start this morning. Late start. I had to stay on the phone. A phone call with QuickBooks for like two hours trying to get them set up to uh, deal with my books since they're a mess right now. And I just got done with a customer of mine. But our next job is going to be a property manager job. It says, for the description, it says, a maintenance guy said that an electrician was coming to check out the ceiling fan last month, but no one came. No one has came. I texted the phone number and no one replied. I thought there was more to this. Oh, yeah, it says contact access. Contact tenant for access and repair, check outlet, and replace fan if necessary. Uh, I've been calling this tenant for a while, texting her. <laughs> if you look at the text, just she never answers my text. I like looked at like six months ago. I got about 10 texts saying, hey, this is Brian. I got your work order. Hey, this is Brian. I got your work order, like 10 of them. <laughs> but it's different dates. But I finally got a hold of her. She got some weird hours. So, got an extra fan in the back of the truck. Make sure I'm all prepared. And then, uh, hopefully it's easy fix. I don't know, it sounds like somebody was over there before. But we'll, let's get her straightened out. I'll get you guys some shots. Yeah. Would it be okay if, if I record for YouTube for educational purposes? Um, my house is a mess. <laughs> well, I'm just showing the how I'm gonna fix the stuff. That's all. Oh. Okay. If that's fine with you. Um, that should be fine. Okay. <sighs> oh man, this book bag doesn't get any lighter. this fan I came here last time and oh yeah. oh well, I just heard it pop over there mm -hmm. I don't know your uh, system has got quiet <sighs> see if I can hold that switch I never took these apart this way. I'm not seeing no power. Yeah, there's a type of fans you gotta take all the blades off. Just get to the top. Shoot these type. That one's got power. That one's got power. Oh, this thing is bad. Which I was afraid of. Now I gotta take this down. And now I know it's not gonna have a fan box. Okay. Surprise, surprise, no fan box. Hmm. Weird. So I got the light up there. So I would walk you guys through all that, but I mean, it's Paying the butt a little bit because it's so hard to have the camera on my neck while looking up. Enough complaining. The reason why I put a light up was because it wasn't a fan box. I called the prop manager up and I explained to them. I was even telling them, like, I think it's been more trouble than it's worth. This building is from 1950 or 1900. This thing is there's lath and plaster. It looks like there's drywall. For all I know, they could have put drywall over the lath and plaster. I'm like thinking to myself, I don't know what's back there. But once you start, you can't stop. And I could tell by the box, there's a screw in the middle. So I know there's a bar going across. 
but I don't care. It's not a fan box. It has to be 1032 screws, and they were 832. That's what makes a fan box pretty much. Pretty much, and the box is more uh, strong. Uh, electrical box is rated for 50 pounds. Uh, fan box is rated for 70 pounds. So I told them, I mean, it's going to be a big expense to change that fan box out. I change that box out to a fan box because I don't know what I'll get myself into. And I don't, even, I don't even know if there's even attic access. So I told we just should put a fan, I mean, a light up because I'm not installing a fan on that box. And uh, she agreed, which I'm glad because I don't, I don't want to be inhaling asbestos today. Asbestos. It's probably, who knows if it has asbestos, but... You know, just joking around. But that's a wrap. Nice and easy one. And there was there apparently there's no outlet problem. So there you go. That's a wrap.